welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Sports. I am your host. used to love. Uh, it is important for people to go back and invest in your neighborhood. Fighter Ronnie Chamber. This is my coach Derek Rodriguez out of AMB Boxing. We're on Let's Talk Sports Nation. P.S. And we on Let's Talk Sports Nation. You know what it is, man. This is Let's Talk Sports Nation. If you come from a neighborhood that's impoverished, and you get an opportunity and you make some success, invest in your neighborhood. Your government's not. Government's not. The government's not. You gotta send the people to prisons. They need to start sending them to the gyms, man. You remember back in the, or I know you might have heard stories back in the days how boxing was in the prisons? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you think about that? Yeah, well, Bernard, I know that they had it in the prisons when Bernard was in prison. And Bernard was able to stay in shape and, and, and box and everything, and keep it going, and come home and make a career out of it, whereas he's so successful now, even outside of the ring. You know, just still, there's so many jobs and careers within the sport of boxing, right? right? right. So that's it was something that was great. It was it was a great rehabilitating um, structure. Right. That's an interesting thing, too, because, like, okay, you look at somebody like Freddie Roach, who was, you know, a, me, a mediocre boxer. Yeah. But he was able to... You know, retire from that, become a multi-millionaire from training. Yeah. Right? But then you see a lot of black boxers, you know, uh, what's my guy's name? Starlin Marlin. Guys like that, that was like legends. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, it's, and these youngsters, they need that some of that good knowledge. Yeah. So, yeah. so why it is you think you don't see that, that kind of crossover? It's a good question. I, I think... Uh... I don't know. I think I, I, I really would like to probably blame um, mass media. I blame, you know, mass media for everything because, uh, you know, what you see is what you get. And uh, like I say, what goes in must come out. So if, if all this stuff that we're, we're seeing through media, whether it's the paper, the news, the magazine or, or the TV, we regurgitate. It's coming out. Right. And so if it's whatever, I think it's a whole lot of throw off stuff, a lot of sidetracks. Right. You know, we should be talking about, you know, more people in the community talk about voting. Right. You know what I mean? Having some political power. All the things that are very necessary. We, we rarely hear the discussion about AIDS awareness or, you know, um, even um, more more conditions that plague people of African descent. Right. You know, malaria, stuff like that. We don't hear nothing about malaria when that's going to come on TV. But I think all of the stuff that they give us is to sidetrack us from the more important things. And if it's something that's very beneficial to the black community, such as, you know, um, boxing and stuff like that, I think they're going to try to do it similar to the way they try to do the Black Panther Party. It's like they're not going to make those connections. Yeah. You know, they're not going to make, okay. It's a plot against us, man. Yeah, it is. It's it a is. plot against us. Visualizing the realism of life and actuality. Fuck who's the baddest, a person's status depends on salary. And my mentality is money orientated. I'm destined to live the dream for all my peeps who never made it. Because, yeah, we were beginners in the hood as five percenters. But something must have got in us because all of us turned us in us. Now, some come from a neighborhood that's impoverished and you get an opportunity and you make some success, invest in your neighborhood. Your government's not. Government's not. Government's not. 